Hello and welcome to the Data Explorer's daily video update. So the introduction of the ebook reader has completely revolutionized the way that we buy and also read books. Amazon has recently reported that their sales of ebooks for their Kindle have now surpassed um, sales for, the, for traditional printed books. So whilst we have a flurry of um, everybody rushing online, um, suspectedly, we turn to two of the large uh, two acquisitions that were announced, or possible acquisitions that were announced last week. Uh, the first with Barnes & Noble, uh, Liberty Media, surprisingly has uh, made an offer to buy a 70% stake of Barnes & Noble. Um, and secondly, HMV have also uh, reported that they will be selling Waterstones to a Russian billionaire. So what's with the acquisitions and um, also how are investors, uh, how are investors act reacting towards this? Barnes & Noble, uh, in response to the offer last Friday, share price jumped up 25%. And what we have seen is this seems to be, have been a surprising, a surprising bid and not expected, as short interest has been rising since March. And although this was a relatively sh a heavily shorted stock in the first place, short interest is now double since March at 24%. Also, it's quite um, a ut heavily utilised stock too, which must be hard to borrow with 80% of the lendable supply currently out on loan. Now, there's lots of um, different reasons and variables for why people think that, um, people are, that, that investors and billionaires and visionary entrepreneurs are actually investing into these bricks and mortar um, retail companies, which also have an online presence as well. So HMV um, selling Waterstones, their short interest currently stands at 19%. It has fallen very slightly since the start of the year, down from about 22%, but again heavily shorted and a very similar situation to Barnes & Noble with over 70% of the lendable supply currently out on loan. Now another stock that I've chosen to look at is a relatively small cap stock, stock with about a 70 million um, US dollar market capitalization, which is books a million. Now this is generally built on a, a similar model to Barnes & Noble. They sell books online, but they do have about 200 out, uh, retail units over the US. They've actually been trying to keep up with the evolving industry and they have introduced ebooks. However, they don't have their own reader like Barnes & Noble does, um, so maybe failing at a competitive edge there. Short interest here has doubled since February and currently stands at 7.5% uh, and share price has dwindled and currently is trading at annual lows. To read the full report, please go to dataexplorers.com forward slash news. Thank you for listening and have a great day. Thank you.